Hello, my name is Andrew Moore. I'm going to be your facilitator for this course. Uh, I am a consultant based in Johannesburg. Uh, the little consultancy is called Neil Butcher and Associates and I've been approached by the Commonwealth of Learning to help facilitate this course on facilitating blended learning courses. I have worked previously in Kenya. Uh, some years ago, I was working with UNESCO and the Ministry of Education, Science and Technology, and we helped build a teacher ICT integration course called the Kenyan ICT CFT. Uh, so I have great memories. I worked predominantly in the Nairobi area, but I uh, did get down to the coast uh, on one occasion and up to Eldoret uh, on another. So. Um, this is a poor second to actually facilitate online. I would love to actually be there. But um, for now, that's the best we can do under these COVID-19 pandemic conditions. All right. But it's not a bad thing. Um, I'm going to try and model what is good online facilitation technique. And obviously, the best way to do it is online. So what are we going to cover? Uh, we will cover... Uh, what is facilitation? How does it differ from other ways of providing support? Uh, what are the roles and responsibilities of a good online facilitator? Uh, and then we're going to look at specific duties that you have to perform. So the first one is to support online learning, perhaps unsurprisingly, but we'll look at actual practical tips and techniques in order for you to help people study online using the learner management system. Uh, we're also going to look at ways that you can help nurture and create a social presence, uh, social relationships between the various participants in your course. Um, and the third hat or responsibility that you will have will be to manage and administer. So we'll show you how to run your course behind the scenes, make sure that all the things are happening. And fourthly, how to provide technical assistance, um, especially in the early weeks of your online course, you'll find there will be lots of technical issues and will give you first level skills so that you can troubleshoot some of those. In this day and age, there's also now a lot of training happening using synchronous technologies like Zoom and MS Teams. So we'll also have a section whereby we'll show you how to run a good synchronous online session so that people are engaged, interested and uh, get the most out of those uh, opportunities when you can meet in real time online. All right, so enough about me and enough about the course. Let's do it.